Welcome to PM Movie Recaps. Today's pick is a comedy and drama of 2022, not okay. If you're ready, let's enjoy the video. Danny Sanders is an aspiring writer who works as a photo editor for Depravity, an online magazine in New York City. Struggling with both her job and making friends, Danny lies about attending an upcoming retreat in Paris to impress her coworker Colin, a social media influencer. Danny spends the next week posting photoshopped pictures of herself in Paris from her Brooklyn apartment. She gains a modest following on Instagram as a result, which includes Colin. A few days later, Danny posts a doctored photo of herself by the Arc de Triomphe only minutes before several major Parisian landmarks, including the Arc, are bombed by terrorists. To uphold her lie, Danny fakes returning from Paris, joining up with her parents at the airport. With her parents, co-workers, and online following mistakenly believing she was a survivor of the terrorist attacks, Danny immediately garners widespread attention. Initially wanting to come clean, Danny ultimately chooses to lean into the lie. After attending a trauma support group, she meets and befriends anti-gun activist Rowan Aldrin, a school shooting survivor who also has a large social media following. Danny writes a fraudulent article about her experience of being in a terrorist attack. This article, which includes the hashtag I am not okay, goes viral and propels Danny to immediate fame. Danny also grows closer to Rowan, becoming a sisterly figure to her. During a night out with Colin, they have a brief but unpleasant sexual encounter, which makes Danny realize the life of fame she wanted is not as desirable as simply being a good person. Danny is invited to speak at a rally with Rowan. When counter protesters set off fireworks, Rowan suffers a panic attack and is hospitalized. Danny, who has been having recurring hallucinations of the Paris bomber, has a hard time being able to support Rowan. Meanwhile, a skeptical co-worker of Danny's named Harper uncovers her deception and gives Danny an ultimatum. Either Danny comes clean on her own terms, or Harper will announce the fraud to the world. Ultimately, Danny decides to publish an article detailing the truth and accept the consequences of her lie. This derails her life quickly, she becomes an online pariah, is fired from her job, disowned by Rowan, forced to move in with her parents after her address gets leaked online, gets death threats and deactivates all of her social media accounts. A month later, Danny is attending a new support group for individuals who are victims of online shaming where she is encouraged to make amends with those she hurt. Danny attends a spoken word event where Rowan is speaking out against Danny and her actions, and the speech impresses her while earning cheers from the crowd. Upon realizing that amends would be for her own benefit rather than for Rowan's, Danny quietly exits the theater. The removal of her social media accounts and her choice to leave Rowan's performance without saying sorry seem to indicate that Danny is finally beginning to take responsibility for her mistakes. Thank you for watching, but before leaving please make sure that you click subscribe and turn on the notification so that you can enjoy watching more videos like this.